church. This we have not, not yet witnessed. That is going to be very, very, very big. Okay. When, he's mentioning a term, when the most great convulsion will have appeared, the promised days come. The day when tormenting trials will have surged above your head and beneath your feet, saying, Now, as Shogafendi said, mankind do not know where is it coming from or why is it coming from. Shogafendi answers that question right here. In this prophecy, he says, from the word of Baha'u'llah, he's quoting, Taste ye what your hands have wrought. This is what you have made, Baha'u'llah says. Okay. This is made by you. He has not ordered this for you. His order was the Kitab Abdas the Baha'i Faith, the revelation of God, a message of constructions and renovations. That's what it was. Baha'i Faith is here to renovate and to construct. It is not about destructions. Baha'i Faith is not a doomsday message. I personally hate that. To talk about uh, these pessimistic things. Uh, for me being an optimistic person. Thanks God that Baha'u'llah says, Shogif, and he says it's ultimately glorious. We have to chase to find out where is this glory is hidden into these things, what we have been missing. But, when is it coming? When the most great convulsion will have appeared. Why is it there? It is what you have made, he says. Taste. You what your hands have wrought. So, Continues, quote, So shall the blast of his chastisement beat upon you, and the dust of hell enshroud you. This hell and everything else, as in we know in the Baha'i faith, is the lack of heaven, is the lack of good. So if you don't take good, which is the theory of Baha'u'llah, but living on the earth, then you will have to go to your own. Things will be put in trial. Okay, you don't want to take the right way, which is based on science and logic by God revealed in our century, then you're going to have to go with what you have made yourself. And that has serious consequences. The only way you can escape this is as if Baha'u'llah is wrong and his message was wrong message. But if he is right, you are in trouble. How could he be wrong, you know? He's the only one from Moses to Jesus to Muhammad to Buddha, my God, even Quetzalcoatl and so many others that we don't know yet. All they prophesied about his coming. This is the hugest news on the planet, the entire planet. This is the consequence. Or he could be wrong, as opposed to us. You know, as it says on some TV, we're like the boy who uh, had a big inheritance won the lottery tickets and all of his cookies and everything he's just wasting it and eating it and there's nothing left for tomorrow we're like that one of those boys that inherits a lot of money all he does is drinking and cocaine and uh, wasting his life and others people humanity in 150 years since Baha'u'llah has come he has gone so far that according to William Sears, since the beginning of mankind has never even matched. The progress is way more in the last, in the, ever since Baha'u'llah showed up in 1844. So all of this, learning you know, all the elements in there, from oil to all of this, and we're all wasting it so fast, not knowing what you're doing. And everyone is conscious of it. They say that, well, the other guy is doing it. Why shouldn't I do? This is it. What's the use if I do it and everybody else doesn't do it? 
This is what Baha'u'llah comes. He says to you that, do it for my sake because you're going to die and you're going to go to hell furthermore. Do it because it is the right things to do and you will be recompensed by it. Even after your death, if you sacrifice all your things for the right and the truth, there's no, there is consequences for what you do. Okay. So, now, there is a big warning at the very end of T2. I'm going to continue all of it. And he says, at the end of this passage, quote, The day will soon come. He, that is Baha'u'llah, referring to the foolish ones of the earth, has written, whereon they will cry out for help and receive no answer. Okay. So, the message has come. So, many years has passed. We're not listening. We're not listening. We're not listening. Everything he said came true. Didn't he say about what happened to Germany? It came true. Didn't say about Iranians? What happened came true. Didn't he say about the Turkey, what happens in it, came true. Didn't Abdul Ba say the First World War, Second World War is happening? Didn't he say that right here in Canada, United States? Didn't. Nobody's listening. Okay. Because we're disorganized. You know. We're in shambles. We've created governments that are much bigger than ourselves. They're even controlling the presidents. The systems, just like those movies, that the system is made, the computer is made, the computer is taking over the people's life. They can't control it anymore. The system that we've made is doing this. At least in countries like Iran, where the dictatorship is there, we know what to do. There's a point, like Saddam Hussein, or the king, or whoever, you bring him down, the whole thing will come down. What are you going to do in the U.S.? The president is himself nothing but uh, just like a, a sheriff in the hand of the cowboys. I can't do nothing. The system is bigger than the individuals controlling them. A fear is everywhere. Okay. So what's going to happen is this. It says, at that time, when the most great convulsion will have appeared, the things begins. Reason for it is because what you have wrought, what you have made. Now you're asking, okay, help, help. No, sorry, it's too late. This patient, planet Earth is patient. Had to be taken. The systems are patient. Peoples are patient. They had to be taken to the doctors on time. You didn't come. This cancer now is chronic. It's killing the patient. However, I as the elder of God, oh, because I have come here among you, I'm going to magnify Put all this writing of show we offend you. Put under our magnifications. And tell you all what's going to happen. What worse is going to happen. A lot more worse. Let's see what it means. By something unprecedented. Something unpredictable. And... Uh, something that's going to be glorious at the end. How many glorious event has been the consequence? How many consequences, glorious consequences have we seen right now that was so glorious ever since 1957 that Shobhi FND died? What glory have we brought to humanity through unprecedented and unpredictable matters. There hasn't been any. 
none of these courses are glorious because this glory would have to come by you understanding the fact the spiritual center of the planet you just know the one side of the truth which is the natural sun that is the center you put all your physics and laws around it it's gravity and everything you see how in the universe the order is made through the scepter of God by means of gravity the bigger the weight it controls the smaller objects warping the space but you have not understood there is a parallel side to this Sun and that Sun is the Sun of reality he is Baha'u'llah the glory of God how could I have any effect on you when he and his 20,000s of his martyrs have not had any effect on you you see that's a very very gleaming very very gleaming very dark for God's sake his own followers that they called themselves Baha'is they signed the card as if that's it they entered this university of Baha'u'llah and that's all it was supposed to. they're not looking at their failing mark every day and they think oh yeah we're different probably I've seen many Iranian Baha'is in Canada or in Iran they were looking so down on other people that everyone is wrong and we are right and not knowing that the Baha'is in the world are two kinds. The entire planet is Baha'i. Why? Because Baha'u'llah has come. The light of Baha'u'llah has brought the brightness and the light. The darkness of the night have come into the day. So, the whole planet is Baha'i. I categorize them of two types. Those who say they are Baha'is, but they don't listen to Baha'u'llah others that they don't claim they're Baha'i they don't even know what Baha'u'llah is but somehow their act is in line very partially a few little percentage for example the government of Canada how much of its affinity has with the Baha'i government a lot in fact the Baha'i government in future is not going to be much better than Canada or you know other countries similar to Canada the only thing that it has it's not a regional thing it's not just in the region of Canada the whole globe will be like Canada or a country similar to Canada here I use Canada no prejudice there are of course other countries that they are in line with this kind of understanding but country Canada um, they're not aware about but they are in tune because they have understood science and logic and that's what they do based on the science and the logic as they go it happened to be the principle of Baha'u'llah as well these people they know they're Baha'is in Canada all of them but they do not know the source others that they signed up they think they're Baha'i and they don't act upon what they do why because in Kitab Aghdas says to become a Baha'i it takes two things first you have to know me 